I look like a little elf or something. It's literally so adorable. Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Gemma if you didn't already know. And if you didn't know, hi, my name is Gemma and welcome back today. Today we are talking about how to wear Lolita fashion in the winter and avoid freezing your freaking booty off. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, hi, my name is Gemma May and I am a Lolita fashion and kawaii fashion content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, follow me everywhere. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it and then come back. I talk about Lolita fashion and other kawaii harajuku fashions. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe while you're at it and join the family. And join the financially irresponsible family, <laughs> yes. For those of you that don't know, Lolita fashion is a Japanese street fashion that originated from Harajuku, Japan that is inspired by Rococo and Victorian clothing. It is very cute with big poofy skirts and lots of frills and I love it. Wearing Lolita fashion is super fun, but it can be kind of cumbersome, especially in extreme weather. I have already done a video on how to wear Lolita fashion in the summer. If you haven't already seen that, go ahead and check it out right now. Now, of course, depending where you live, winter might be a low of 70s or it might be literally negative degrees. Might be even more freezing than freezing. <laughs> no matter where you live, I have tips for you to keep warm while wearing Lolita fashion in the winter time. Even if it is so cold outside that your breath crystallizes in front of your face. <laughs> I have tips for that. So without further ado, let's get on to the tips for how to wear Lolita fashion in the winter time. The first and most obvious tip that I have for you wearing Lolita fashion in the winter time is to layer. Now Lolita fashion already consists of a lot of layers. You have your bloomers, your petticoat, your dress, maybe a top underneath that dress if you're wearing a jumper skirt. So luckily Lolita fashion already consists of like a minimum of two or three layers, but you want to be mindful of those layers and and you can add even more to provide extra warmth. For your bloomers specifically, instead of just picking a normal kind of bloomers, there are little fluffy bloomers. These ones are just tiny little fluffy shorts that I got, I think from Forever 21 a while ago. Now these aren't technically bloomers, but you can put these fluffy shorts underneath your bloomers if you like, or just wear these by themselves. You know, they do the job and it provides an extra layer of warmth, especially in your midriff area. Keep it nice warm and toasty. So something to keep in mind when layering your clothing underneath your Lolita fashion is the innerwear. Innerwear consists of your bloomers and petticoats, but it can also consist tights, leggings, tank tops, and other clothing that you wear underneath things. The next tip that I have for you for innerwear are fleece lined tights and leggings. Now you can get fleece lined tights. These ones are white, but I know they have these in different skin tones. So if you want, you can grab a pair that matches your skin tone. And then when you put your OTKs or your over the knee socks over your fleece line tights, it just looks like you're just wearing your OTKs. It doesn't even look like you're wearing fleece line tights underneath. So definitely recommend those. If you don't have fleece lined, these are just leggings that I got from Forever 21. Maybe you live in an area that isn't super cold and you don't need like fleece line tights. You can also opt for these leggings. Now my last tip for innerwear while wearing Lolita fashion in winter is heat tech. These heat tech Tech tops are a lifesaver, let me tell you. Heat Tech is a special kind of technology that was created by Uniqlo. What Heat Tech does, it converts the heat from your body and converts it into more heat to heat up your body even more, <laughs> if that makes sense. Basically, they're thermal tops that are super thin and lightweight and just work perfectly under any of your clothing and especially Lolita fashion in the winter. This one here is a tank top. Maybe your arms are fine, but you just want a little bit more warmth on your midriff area you can go ahead and get yourself a tank top or my favorite I have this long sleeve heat tech and it's very close to my skin tone so when I wear this underneath pieces maybe I'm wearing like an OP or one piece that has sheer sleeves it looks like I'm not wearing anything underneath but I have an extra layer of warmth these are a must for winter if you want to wear cute and kawaii fashion styles and not freeze to death <laughs> now for the tips that I have for you for your main pieces of your Lolita fashion coordinate when you're wearing Lolita fashion in the winter time. For your Lolita dresses, I highly recommend getting some dresses with thick fabrics. This includes corduroy, velvet, any sort of wool or wool blend is going to really keep you warm in the winter time. However, cotton and polyester works just fine. You just might need a few more layers on the inside or the outside. Now for motifs that I see often in winter Lolita fashion, I see a lot of red and green colorways, a lot of tartan and plaid print 
ingredients, stuffed animals, bears, presents, gingerbreads, anything that reminds you of winter or the holiday season. Now for underneath your dresses, specifically your JSKs or jumper skirts, which are dresses that do not have sleeves and you generally need to wear a top underneath, I recommend for the top underneath to not be a blouse, but to be a sweater. Every year winter rolls around, I love to opt for a sweater underneath my JSKs. I think they are so, so cute and they're so warm and so comfy and cozy. I highly recommend this tip. Now, if you're looking for some inspiration for your Lolita fashion winter coordinates, do not fret. I have the perfect coordinate to show you guys that implement all of the tips that I'm teaching you today that is so graciously sponsored by our sponsor, Devil Inspired. Yay! We love sponsorships and being able to keep on the lights. Yes. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, Devil Inspired is an online one-stop shop for all your Lolita fashion needs. They have dresses, petticoats, bloomers, sweaters, wigs, everything that you could need in your Lolita fashion coordinate. What they do is they host a lot of Taobao brands on their website. Now Taobao is kind of like Chinese eBay where there's a lot of different storefronts on this site. However, it's all in Chinese and they only ship to China. So if you want to purchase from Taobao, you have to get a shopping service and pay those fees in order to get these really cute items from these Taobao brands. However, that is not the case with Devil Inspired. Devil Inspired hosts all these adorable Taobao brands. It's all in one place and it's in your native language. So you don't need to learn how to navigate Taobao if you want to buy from these adorable Taobao brands. Once you make an order through Devil Inspired, they will purchase those items from the Taobao shop, post it in their warehouse, and then ship it out to you. It's super easy and convenient and just such a breeze to navigate through their website. And of course they have so much cute stuff, kind of like the stuff that they sent me today. I can't wait to rip into this package. So thank you so much to Devil Inspired for sponsoring this video. And if you want to get something for yourself from Devil Inspired, don't forget to use my coupon code Gemma so you can get 12% off your purchase and get yourself something really cute. Without further ado, let's get into this package and see what kind of Lolita winter coordinate I'm gonna be rocking today. Time to snip snip. Snip. Yeah. Okay. This must be the blouse. I also have to utilize the suspense by opening it the most exciting thing last. So first we got the blouse. So yes, I got this top. It's just a long sleeve white blouse with a Peter Pan collar and little dots all over it. There's some heart lace, some really cute pretty buttons and lots of adorable frills. I feel like this could just go underneath anything really. And it's just a white blouse, super versatile for any Lolita look. The next thing in the bag kind of shows you what kind of look I'm going for. It's so big. Um, <laughs> so this is a ribbon. It has a little clip back here so you can clip it onto your hair or my advice is to wear a hat and then clip your matching headpiece onto the hat, which I think I'm gonna do. Okay, here comes the rest. Do, 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 do. It's so heavy. Ta-da! Here are the main pieces. There's just so much. I have to open this. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> So this is a little fur collar. You can stick on top of your coat, your dress, anywhere you see fit. So cute and fluffy and it's got these little pom-poms right here. It's very cute. The next item I see in this bag is another ribbon. So here is the ribbon. Now this one is supposed to go on your waist. In the bottom it has little snowflakes. So cute with pom-pom in the middle and the lace. It's like so wintry and adorable. I love it. <laughs> the next item here, still not even the main piece. It's a little cape. Oh my goodness. It's so cute and it has a Peter Pan collar. The Peter Pan collar is kind of plain so you can put the fluffy one on top and spruce it up a little bit, make it a little fancy. It's so cute. and. It it has this like castle embroidery and like moon and snowflakes and roses. It's so cute. And here is the main piece. Hit it. Hit it. 
Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I gotta put it on a hanger. One second. Plop. This is literally so adorable. Oh my goodness. This dress is called the Snow Moon Castle Print Ruffle Trim Lolita JSK and Cape Set on Devil Inspired is by the brand Two Alice. It comes in colors wine red, which is the one that I got, light purple, light pink, and white. And it comes in two sizes, size zero and size one. I got the red because I thought it was just like quintessential winter time gorgeous. It looks like a Christmas elf. It's so adorable and cute. This is heavy. It is made of quite heavy material which is really really nice because you know that this kind of material is going to keep you warm in the winter time. This is a kind of faux suede I think. Maybe some wool is in there. I'm honestly not entirely sure. And it is fully lined on the inside Side. Love that. We've got some gorgeous white lace here with some snowflake pattern on it. Right here on the bust we have two bright white pom-poms. We also have more snowflake lace here at the bust. And the skirt consists of two layers. We have the thick layer fabric which is the kind of faux suede material that I described earlier. And then we have this adorable I think organza overlay that also has velvet flocking on it that has snowflakes going down and then here there's a castle snowflakes roses and then all the way at the bottom of the skirt we have this adorable pom-pom trim it is so cute the back is fully shirred so you have a lot of room for your bust and here's just the gorgeous overlay in jay's k from the back very cute and here is what it looks like with the cape on and the fluffy collar it's so cute i will look like an elf i I swear it's gonna be so adorable. While the set is so gorgeous, I'm gonna set her aside for now and I'm gonna get on to tell you all my other tips and tricks for wearing Lolita fashion in the winter time. Yes, I have even more tips, I know. The tips keep coming and they keep on coming and the tips keep coming and the tips keep coming. The next tip to keep in mind is your outerwear. Now with Lolita fashion, there are lots of different kinds of outerwear that you can choose from. From long coats to short coats to capes like the one that I unboxed earlier, to jackets and cardigans. There is a ton to choose from. Any of these work great, and if you live in a particularly cold climate in the wintertime, you can layer them. You can layer a cardigan and a short coat, or a cardigan and a long coat, or a cardigan and then a cape on top. Now for shoes, I say opt for boots. There are so many cute kind of boots that you can wear in Lolita fashion. There are short boots, Boots that are kind of like booties, mid-sized boots that might hit you just around your calf, and then there are long boots that are knee-high boots. All of these are super cute options and very warm options for wearing Lolita fashion in the wintertime. And if you need the extra warmth, you can also hide some fuzzy socks under your boots, especially if you're wearing the long kinds for extra warmth. Now, if you don't have any boots, I always recommend wearing heels if the weather allows it. If you've got some ice to go over, maybe scrap that. <laughs> but if it is safe to wear heels, I find that wearing shoes with heels makes you work a little bit every time you walk, thus creating more body heat. Again, if you've got like snowy and icy roads, you might want to prioritize being safe and not slipping and falling on your butt. <laughs> yes, those are my recommendations. And now for headwear, of course I recommend wearing a hat. The hats that you see most often in the wintertime for Lolita fashion are berets. They are so cute and adorable, but I think that your typical like winter beanies and like knit caps look really cute with Lolita fashion as well. One tip that I have for you to make your headwear extra cute is wear your winter hat and then you can put a Lolita head bow on top. Either clip it on or if you have a headband, you can put it around the rim of say like your beret. I think this is such a good tip to really make your winter Lolita coordinates super cohesive and cute. And now for your winter accessories. For winter accessories, you can wear mittens or gloves, you can wear scarves, or you can wear really cute earmuffs with your coordinate. Also, you can purchase hand warmers and toe warmers as well. They sell them at Costco. Say maybe you wanna go like Christmas light looking viewing. <laughs> Say maybe you wanna go look at Christmas lights. I think like purchasing these hand warmers and toe warmers are 
a very good idea. And also on top of that, there are these things called kaido in Japan. They are basically like hand warmers. They warm up, but you can stick them onto your clothing and onto your body specifically in areas that you want to keep warm. Highly recommend grabbing some if you can get your hands on them. And then just an extra tip that works with Lolita fashion or any kind of fashion, anytime your clothing connects, like say your leggings and your socks, you want to make sure that that area that those two clothing pieces connect is covered. I wouldn't wear a sock that just barely hits where the top of my legging is. I would either wear a tight that has a foot in it or I would wear super long socks just because as soon as your sock and your legging like lifts up from each other, that area of exposed skin is going to be very cold. <laughs> make sure your ankles and like your wrists and everything are covered so that they keep warm and they don't freeze and fall the heck off. <laughs> so now that we know how to stay warm while wearing Lolita fashion in the winter time, let's go ahead and look at the coordinate that I made. Okay, so here is my winter Lolita coordinate. I am obsessed with how it came out. It is so cute. So I'm wearing the entire set from Devil Inspired, which is the jumper skirt, the cape, and the little collar on top, as well as the head bow and the blouse. Now underneath the blouse, I have my heat tech, so I am nice and warm and cozy. I also have white fleece lined tights underneath my angelic pretty bow tights, so I am very warm. I also have my fluffy bloomers on underneath and of course my petticoats. And I have these fluffy white boots that I'm pretty sure I got off of Amazon a few years back. They're super cute and very fitting for this coordinate. And I also have a fluffy white pom-pom beanie that I just stuck the hair clip on top of. I also have my candy cane earrings on and my rings and just a couple of simple matching bracelets. And that is the entire look. Not only is this set just super cute and perfect for winter time in terms of the color and the motifs, but the fabric is really thick as well. It's sort of this fake suede sort of fabric and it's super, super nice and warm and cozy underneath all of these layers. I am so toasty in this, honestly, like a little too toasty for inside my apartment, but that's how you know that my tips will go in handy in cold weather. I literally look so wintry, but I am kind of sweating, so I think I'm gonna go take this off. That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below. What other Lolita fashion tips would you like me to share? Let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see more of my face. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you keep on smiling and I will see you in my next video. Bye.